welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, a pure heart. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 2, and Matthew 5, verse 8. The word pure from the Greek definition means to be clean and clear. Jesus declared unto the people that day that if someone was capable of having, keeping, or obtaining a pure heart, that they would see God. It is the desire of every believer that one day they would see God. However, the enemy of our soul has a desire too. He desires to keep us from seeing God, both in this world and the next. His attempt is to cause us to lose our pure hearts. One thing that I have found to be universal among new converts and believers is that many truly have a pure heart. As newborn babes in Christ, their hearts are open to receive anything that the church has to offer them. They trust the ministry and they trust their newfound church family. Their hearts are pure. Their motives are pure. Their intentions are pure. These people are the source of revival in the church. They are usually the ones who bring new people to church. They tell all their family and friends about the Lord and what God has done for them. They are not afraid or ashamed to declare their love for God and what He has done in their lives. But what makes these people so valuable to the growth and continuance of a church in a city? It is their pure heart. A heart that is pure is capable of loving someone who is unlovable. A heart that is pure is able to look beyond a person's faults and see their potential greatness. A heart that is pure has no selfish motives. It only wants to bless those around it. This person is not perfect. They are still human. They still make mistakes, they still sin. But Jesus said that because their motives were correct and their heart was pure, they shall see God. So it seems then paramount that believers in Jesus Christ should seek to have and maintain a pure heart. As mentioned, however, it is the role of Satan to try his best to mess up the church. One of the main eras Satan works to destroy our pure heart is in the era of judging others. Luke 6 told us, Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. A person with a pure heart does not judge or condemn, but they do always forgive. They realize that if God is capable of forgiving the sinner, then they too should do so. Jesus told us in John 7 that we should not judge others according to their appearance, but judge righteous judgment. What is it about men that they would seek to find faults of others? It seemed to be a universal problem for people of every age, race, and class. They want to prove their own righteousness is better than the righteousness of their neighbor. Jesus said, By this shall men know that you are my disciples, if ye love one another. What does it mean to have love for one another? In 1 Corinthians 13, Paul lets us know no matter how great a faith we have and no matter how much we do in the kingdom, if we do not have love for people, you are nothing. None of us are without sin of some kind in our lives. It may be lying, stealing, some it may be fornication, adultery, anger, pride, bitterness over injuries of the past, you name it. But the one fact that matters, no one is without sin. Why is it easier to see the faults of a person than to see the good that God sees in them? There is only one reason. Our hearts are not pure. The pure heart sees what God is doing and ignores the errors of another's life that is not perfect. Now, does this mean that we ignore an individual's sin? No, there are times when we have to correct each other if we see one is going down the wrong path. But the scripture reminds us that if a brother be overtaken with a fault, you that are spiritual should restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. God is calling us to not condemn, but to have a pure heart. The thought of the day, no matter how much good I do, if my heart is not pure, I will not see God. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a
the dark 